EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs. It's the opening round of the Northeast Invitational. Frank, this game has taken us all over the world to some absolutely beautiful spots, and this is one of the prettiest I've seen in a long time, the cliffs at Lighthouse Point along the eastern coast of Maine. It's always uh, fun when we head up uh, in the Northeast area. Golf's been in this area for a long, long time. This golf course hasn't, rather than new design by Brandt and Patel, and uh, it's lengthy, 7,700 yards. You'll get to hit just about every club in the bag, so good test today. And let's go down to the first. Frank, you've been there so many times, really nothing like the first tee of a brand new championship. Uh, the thought of the unknown, the beauty of sport, you and the golf course. Doesn't get any better, Rich. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Well, this is the kind of wind that separates the great players from the average players. You really have to be strong to handle these kinds of winds. Well, Frank, obviously way too much club there. <laughs> you, you gotta think something like that, or at least misread the wind. This is never gonna sit down. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is gonna say, except him. Player knows they're on the move with that birdie. Quick glance at the leaderboard. They can see, Frank, they're not out of it. Things are very volatile right now. Now at the second hole here at Lighthouse, it's a par three, 234 yards. Difficult hole, Frank, especially when the wind picks up. It is, and uh, you can see with that bunker on the right side, that's obviously the bailout area because the problem side is to the left of this green. That's where the cliff starts to run all the way down to the ocean. This is a very difficult par three, not just because of its length, but because it's exposed to all of Maine's elements. Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for par. Doesn't dig into the lead with that par, but Frank, sometimes, and you know this as well as anyone, you just have to kind of maintain your footing out there. Frank, I like the mix of holes as we start out here at Lighthouse Point. Tough par four, then a par three, and now a scoring opportunity with a par five at the third. Scoring opportunity with a good drive. Very thin fairway here, Rich. This hole is built for accuracy, and players off the tee, they're going to have to try and hit this fairway. Long fairway bunker runs almost the entire length of this hole and it could act actually as a little helper, stop you going down by the cliff, because anything left, obviously, on that cliff line will go all the way down to the ocean.
Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. Playing his third here at the par five. Would he try up next? And getting ready for the putt. And with that birdie, moves to third place. And now let's go down to the action at the fourth. A couple of birdies already on the card. Still early, Frank, but we've seen some solid play. This is exactly how you want to start the first round of the tournament, Rich. Oh, that's fine. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Oh no, look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is this is going, going, gone. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? I thought that was in. Yeah, it looked good. I mean, line, pace, it's hard to be critical of that. And he's putting for par now. With authority, count it as a par and two under. Now at the fifth here at Lighthouse Point, it's a par four. Frank, what are we in store for? When you stand on this tee, Rich, you don't see any fairway bunkers, but be careful, it can certainly fool you. The goal really with the Cliffs course is to find fairways. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Now, this is not hitting in the right direction. Well, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Safely aboard, about 25 feet from the hole. Pretty chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. Get in the hole. Can you believe that? Now the fifth hole, par four, 481 yards. Find the fairway, and it's a fairly generous one, and you should have a shot where you want a nice lofted one over that front bunker to land softly on the green. This is a good looking shot. That will be a great look at birdie. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Moves into second place with that birdie. Par four seventh, only 370 yards. Frank, decision to be made off that tee. It is. I walk this hole, Rich, to the narrowest point of the fairways, 278 yards. And if you want to carry that left side, you're going to have to be strong 300 yards. So really, I don't know if drivers the play, maybe even three woods too much. You might have to throttle back even further. So the hole might be short. You just might get a little bit of a longer second shot than what the scorecard would normally allow you. So the second of the par four goes begging and now I'll have to rely on the short game. 
you know, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. And he's made the green. Settles in over the putt. No problem at all. Good putt and stays at four under par. Getting set at the eighth hole, it's a par three of 165 yards. Break it down for us, partner. This gets really narrow in the middle of this green, Rich. That's sort of the biggest problem. Matter of fact, only had 12 yards from that left side to the right in the middle. Um, and the green itself actually is three times that in length, 36 yards. So straightness is the key here. Wow, what a day. Every green hit in regulation. This would be a bonus from 25 feet away. This one has a good line. You get the sense now with that birdie that our young star so explosive is setting himself up for a big weekend run. We move to the ninth hole and we begin to go inland, Frank. I'll miss some of the views along the ocean. I won't miss the nerves with the potential of a golf ball sailing off into the Atlantic Ocean. That said, par five, you think about a scoring opportunity, but then I look at the score card and it says this is the number six handicap hole. That's pretty tough. It is, and the reason why is there's trouble both sides of this fairway, and uh, that's normally sand and cliffs. And the designer's really thrown the boat out, excuse the pun. We are on the coastline here. This whole dog legs to the left, and uh, ideally, you just sort of like to go fairway, fairway pitch. That's the prudent way to play the hole. But, of course, everybody likes to chance the driver and reach the par five and two. Miss, pay the price. Get down. Lay down. Well, that one didn't work out. Didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. It's a very makeable putt here. He is currently five under for his round. Goes to six under par for the tournament. What a display of golf. 